New overstay uh, charges in the UAE are Hi guys, welcome back to Siano. It's Mix from Mix Creation, giving you all the updates. We are looking at what you call the overstay fines in the Dubai or what you call in the UAE, Sharija, or even other Emirates that make up the UAE. Someone was asking me about the overstay fines and what he has to do in case he has overstay and what are the charges of the overstay. Something still I have to let you know uh, particularly. All the overstays have been updated or what you call the charges of the overstay depending on what you have. Either you have a visa visa or what you have, or either you have a visa visa or you know what you call a residence visa. The overstay charges in the UAE right now is at what you call 50 dirham. So meaning that you have to, to pay uh, 50 dirham every single day you overstay in the UAE. It doesn't matter what you have, either a visa visa or you have what you call a residence visa at one way or the other. However, when you look at other situation, you can also try try to get off the overstay if in case you are really prepared to do to 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 get off to reduce or even get off what you call the overstay charges in one way or the other one of the one one of the things one of the solution is that you don't allow that overstay to come into uh, your visa if it is either a residence and uh, if example if it is a residence or it is a, what you call the visa visa then let it be mandatory or let it be start with you to try to make sure that you update your visa or check the visa status and say that you do not have to pay what you call the 50 dirhams per day as the overstay charges into the country however something that you didn't know uh, something that you didn't need to understand for example if you are still in the UAE and you are under what you call employment visa for example you have overstays and you can look up a new job with what you call a new contract a new employment offer you know, remember uh, uh, remember ama is ready to reduce either on your overstay charges or to to waive off some of or to waive off some of the charges that you need to pay depending accordingly however the only way that you can clear it out that you can prove that one out is by presenting what you call you present your employee new employment contract and offer later that you'll be present to Emma, then they will definitely see uh, uh, how either to reduce or to 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 waive off what you call the overstay uh, depending on what kind of situation and how lucky you are at one moment of time. And something else that we definitely need to understand is that something that uh, definitely we need to understand is that for this overstay in the uae you cannot move to a new employer unless you clear up what you call the overstay charges that is according to authority uh, in the uae the labor in the uae and that is what they say that you cannot move to a new company unless you clear up or they will you pay up what you call the overstay charges depending on how much they've been told you to pay at a given time hope i've tried to share this uh, as uh, something for you for the person who asked you about your overstay charges and what to do in case you have overstay and you have an employment offer or you have a new employment contract in another company that is definitely what you have to do and thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it makes from the next question giving all the updates around the globe thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to discuss more of these interesting topics next from the mixed creation tv